So it's been a long day of wrenching on the SRAT. After the last trek day, I already changed the um, LED gasket. And when I'm right there, I figured it would be nice to talk about the topic of head gaskets for a minute. Because if you are into SRATs and you probably own one yourself if you're watching this, you should be aware that there are different types of gaskets available for this bike. Like, um, I'll put the numbers up, like the, the parts numbers while I go through this. This is the old um, gasket which was in the bike. This is a OEM Suzuki head gasket for the SRAT. Um, there are two types of those available. One is um, a four ply and this one is a uh, three ply. So three layers against four layers. So this um, three layer one is 0.6 millimeters thick, while the, um, the four ply one is 0.8 millimeters thick. This matters um, like with my bike, if you have a cylinder head that is fly cut or you have cylinders that are fly cut, so all of the spaces are narrow, to, um, more closer to each other, so like 0.2 millimeters in difference can make um, a huge impact on the bike. So what I noticed, my, this cylinder head I have on the bike is uh, fly cut, it's um, 0.2 millimeters um, shorter. So with this three ply gasket, which is another 0.2 millimeters um, thinner than the um, original one, like the first one, um, I had a lot of problems um, getting the valve clearances right, because uh, if I got too tight with the clearance, the valve would open too much and then this, the, the piston would um, start to touch the valve. So it's, you see how, how close this is altogether. So um, the thing is, uh, originally the bikes had this, uh, I think the, six, the 96 and the 97 had the three ply. And later on with the, with the injection models, they switched to the four ply because they had problems with this gasket. And I don't know why that um, Suzuki stopped manufacturing the four ply version. Maybe I'm getting it wrong and it was the other way around. So three ply was first and then the four ply or the four ply was first and then three ply. However, the only OEM you can get from Suzuki like brand new, not new old stock, is the three ply version, which I have here. Because this is the, the used one I had in the bike. So yeah, yeah I, can, I can put the parts number up here so you can have a look at, at it and um, yeah I think I put the parts number for the OEM uh, four ply here as well somewhere so you can have a look if you if you need for a new head gasket so let's put this aside this is the free ply like I said so there are some other ones available which are not OEM uh, here in Europe the most uh, known manufacturer is Latino I think they are from Italy and um, from Athena you can get still get the four ply. So what I have here is um, let's just show you guys. I don't know how good you can see this this focuses. So one ply, two ply, three ply, four ply. This is a four ply gasket and this is um noticeably be noticeably be well you can notice that it's a lot thicker than the the three ply version, which I have uh, ordered like a few, so I have some in spare. Um, I checked for the Athena um, parts number and put it up here as well. Those are uh, a bit cheaper than the uh, OEM ones, so they, those go for like 56 to 60 euros per piece, and the Athena ones are around 45 euros, so you can. Yeah, if you save a bit, matters if you go through a lot of them like I do recently. And then we have this one. This is a uh, three-ply Athena as well. So same manufacturer as, as those ones here, the four plies. This is the three-ply version. So again, the same thickness problem like the OEM Suzuki one. 
Um, to the three ply. Um, if you have a standard bike which has nothing done to the cylinder head, like nothing fly cut, like regular tolerances right from the factory, you can just use the three ply, which will increase the compression a bit. Just be aware that um, if you run the bike in traffic a lot, like city riding, sitting at tra traffic lights, traffic jams, whatever, the bike will get hot. Um, those bikes are terrible at uh, heat management and as soon as you start cranking up the compression in any means, um, temperature temperature will, will rise. So be aware of that and have a mind, have a look on the blood temperature gauge if you consider riding the, the free ply version if you fancy getting a bit of higher compression. So in total those are the two versions, two manufacturers all here. Quality wise I think the Tina is fine, it looks more or less the same. I had the one in my street bike uh, s -Rat, um like a few years back which worked super nice. I definitely can uh, recommend these if you fancy the OEM stuff and you have a standard bike with the standard tolerances, you can go for the free ply. If you have anything fly cut, whatever, shortened, something, um, make sure you look for new old stock for the four ply version. Otherwise, uh, it can get really nasty getting the tolerances right. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this made um, it a bit easier for you to pick the right head gasket.